Are you sick and tired of your boring old PC case? Sure, you got nice RGBs and flashy lights, but what if you could turn this old boring PC glass into something magical? Stick around after the intro. I'm gonna take you through it step by step. You can do it yourself. Custom PCs are the way of the future. If you're not building your own PC, what are you even doing? It's super cool putting flashy lights in your PC case, making sure your motherboard lights up, your RAM. But what if you could take that to the next level? I'm gonna show you how to etch the glass on the side of your PC case so you can put a custom image on your PC glass to make it stand out from the rest and take it to the next level. Just a few things that you're gonna need to get started. First thing is you're gonna need a PC case with some glass on it. The case like I have is the NZXT 500 and make sure that the glass on the side is actual glass uh, some cheaper cases will have an acrylic on it and uh, this technique won't work on that so you'll need some actual glass that is tempered glass so this will work on tempered glass as well as just pane glass I think most PC glasses are tempered these days because of heat uh, and you have to be very careful doing this because what we're doing is we're going to cause a chemical reaction to etch the PC glass and make it that frosty opaque see-through image the main ingredient to this is a product called Armor Etch. Armor Etch can be found on Amazon and also your local craft store, uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby, things like that. If you wanna pick this up, it's fairly cheap. I'll put a link down in the description to the Amazon page. Uh, this stuff is dangerous. Like I said, this causes a chemical reaction. Uh, this can cause things like acid burns. So make sure you do wear gloves when you're using this. That is my safety tip. Do not do this without wearing gloves. Also, not safe for children. Even if they are wearing gloves, I would not let your kids near this. Before you get started, you want to make sure that this is just a little warm. Uh, it's best just to hold it in your hands and shake it up just a little bit. This stuff will crystallize over time inside the bottle. Just heat it up a little bit, get rid of those big crystal chunks. The next thing you're gonna need is some type of stencil or something that's going to adhere to the glass that you wanna etch, uh, an image or anything like that. Luckily, I have a Silhouette Cameo which is a vinyl cutter. So what I do is I cut regular vinyl, like I'm making a vinyl decal for a car or for the wall or something like that. And when you cut your vinyl, you do something called weeding, which is where you pull out the pieces of the vinyl that you don't want and you know leaving the negative space in the vinyl. When you're doing etching, you want to what's called reverse weed, which means you pull out the pieces that you do want. So it's gonna look a little funny whenever you pull those pieces off because it feels wrong to do it backwards, but you wanna make sure you have a negative of the image. And you don't have to flip this like you do if you're doing an iron-on transfer or anything like that. Just leave it straight on. So when you're done, you're gonna have a stencil that looks like this. With normal weeding, you would want to keep the parts that are outlined here for the actual sticker itself or the decal. But in this case, this is the stuff that we want to etch onto the PC glass. So I have reverse weeded and pulled out the pieces that I want shown on the etching. And of course the PC that I'm doing is called Thanos. So this is the man himself. It's gonna look super nice and crisp on the side of that PC glass. If you do not have a vinyl cutter, the next thing you can use is masking tape or painter's tape. Uh, both of those will work super well. You just want something that will stick to the glass and make sure that the, uh, the etching cream does not seep under the edges. If you're using masking tape or painter's tape, you can lay some strips out onto the PC glass, take an X-Acto knife, and trim out your design, just kind of making like a homemade stencil. I wouldn't use something like paper or cardboard because it's so thick that etching cream will get under the glass and then destroy your image and it'll look like garbage. The next thing you're gonna need, of course, is your PC glass. This is the tempered PC glass that came off the side of my case. So in order to clean this, regular rubbing alcohol, Windex, anything just to get the fingerprints off, nice little clean rag. So we're just gonna clean this off really good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the front and back because this thing was nasty. Now that our PC glass is super nice and clean, the next step is to align the stencil and get it put on here, smoothed out and making sure that the edges aren't peeled up so nothing gets underneath there. Okay, that is the most important part of this is making sure that your edges are pushed down 
super tight. Also, you can etch the inside or outside of the glass. It doesn't matter. I prefer the outside of the glass for some reason. Also, when you're doing this, make sure that your PC glass is right side up because the last thing you want to do is get all excited, etch this thing permanently, and then it's upside down. Etching your PC glass is permanent. This is a true chemical reaction happening with the glass and causing it to eat away some of the glass and leave that opaque finish on it. This does not rub off. So make sure that you are positive you wanna do this and make sure that everything is lined up the right way, the correct way up or the correct way down and centered the way you want it before you start doing this. Cause once you start, there's no going back. All right, now that your stencil is on, and it's just like applying a decal, if you're using vinyl, you have the transfer tape, you put the decal on, make sure it's rubbed in really good. A squeegee is good for that. And you just wanna make sure that all those edges are pushed in really good and tight. Because Remember, I'm gonna say it again, making sure those edges are pushed down is the most important thing. And now the part you've all been waiting for, make sure you got your gloves on, grab your armor etch that's been slightly warmed in your hands, we're just gonna pour this on here pretty liberally. I'm gonna use an old and disposable paintbrush to make sure that I get this stuff spread out really well. Once you get this on and spread out, set a timer, five minutes. Don't go any longer than 10 minutes because this is tempered glass. It is a chemical reaction that raises the temperature of that and tempered glass will shatter and you will have a mess and a big problem because replacing this glass can be a little expensive. And once your five to 10 minutes is up, you wanna wash this off, make sure it gets completely off of the glass. Make sure all of the armor etch is cleaned off and then we can peel the stencil off and you should be left with a great design for your new PC case. All right, once you've done that, you should have your stencil completely covered pretty liberally with the cream. Try to keep out any air bubbles if you can or any spots that may you may have missed or are kind of thin. You do want it kind of thick on there. Uh, if you leave any spots bare, of course they won't get etched. You can leave little divots in your etching. So just make it liberal, make sure everything's good to go. And then computer, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Leave it alone. Enjoy your gloves. Five minutes is up. Let's take this thing into the bathroom, wash it off, and I'll be right back. Also, keep your gloves on for this, because if you need to wipe it off with your hands, then you don't want to burn yourself. So, I'll be back in just one second. Now that the etching cream has been washed off, uh, we're ready to peel this uh, template off and see what's left behind. Now that you have taken all of the vinyl off of the glass, the last step before putting this bad boy back on your PC is some more alcohol. And not, not, not that kind of alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Clean up the residue and the fingerprints. After everything is said and done, you should have a beautiful little etching just like this. That look like Thanos. And remember, this is super permanent just like your subscription to my channel should be. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you don't have a vinyl cutter and you're scared to cut something yourself and you have something you want, let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll work something out. I'll hook you up. You guys are my friends. I like all of you. I love all of you. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Love you all. Peace. Thank you.